Hey guys, it's VT Gamer Girl 11 back with another video. This is going to be my updated original Xbox collection. Um, this is going to be just the original Xbox only. I will do my Xbox 360 collection separate from this one. I do not have an Xbox One, so obviously I won't be doing a collection for that one. But let's go ahead and get started. I have three loose games to begin with, and the first one I have is NFL Street. This one actually came in an Xbox system that I got at Goodwill that did not work. We only paid $3 for it, so I was glad I got a game that actually did work in it. And then I got Total Overdose, A Gunslinger's Tale in Mexico. And Mercenaries. Then I have the three Xbox games that Burger King released. And these can work on the original Xbox and the Xbox 360. So I decided that I would put them in this collection and my Xbox 360 collection as well. Those are Big Bumpin', which I still have not opened yet. It's still sealed. Then I got Sneak King and Pocket Bike Racer. And then I got some Star Wars games. I got some, let's see, I'll start with this one. I got Lego Star Wars the video game that has episode 1, 2, and 3 on it. Then I have this combo pack that has Star Wars the Clone Wars and Tetris Worlds on it. This is only on one disc, but it does have two manuals. There's a Star Wars manual, and there's a Tetris Worlds manual. I don't know why. A lot of people don't like these, but I, I like these. I think they're cool. Then I got Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Star Wars Obi-Wan, which has a really... You can't see that, but it's like got a water-damaged insert. Then I got Star Wars 2, Knights of the Old Republic. The Sith Lords. And let's see, then I got some random, just random pairings of games in here, so I thought I would put those in a stack, so let's go with those. I've got Odd World Munch's Odyssey, Odd World Stranger's Wrath, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat Deception. This one, I have not taken the sticker off yet. The Spongebob Squarepants movie, which I think I have this for GameCube too. This was in my GameCube collection. I need to get rid of one of them. And I got Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm not one of those people like where if I ha unless I really like the game, I don't normally keep it for more than one system unless it's for like a console and a portable system, then I'll keep it. Then I got Halo Combat Evolved. This is the Game of the Year edition, I think. Or not. No, it's not. It just says Game of the Year. Then I got Halo 2, Project Gotham Racing. There is a couple in here that I just recently picked up, that being one of them that will be in my recent Pigos video as well. I got Project Gotham Racing 2, Amped, and Amp 2. Then I got some War... They're not really all war-based games, but they kind of are at the same time. I've got Collector's Edition Call of Duty 2 Big Red one. So just random like war games. Commandos Strike Force. Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood. Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30. Medal of Honor European Assault. Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge. SWAT Global Strike Team. This is what I mean by like, this is kind of a war game, but at the same time it's like a terrorist game, so it can be a war game, or you could put it in a terrorist game category, wherever you want to put it. And the same with this one, Conflict Global Terror. Then I've got my, just random over here, I've got two collector's editions. I've got limited collector's edition Doom 3. It's got a creepy back like this on the inside and then I got this one which is really beat up true crime New York City collector's edition which I also have for GameCube but I kind of I need to get rid of that one I need to keep this one but it's hard for me to get rid of that one because I got it from somebody on YouTube who norm who no longer does YouTube so it's kind of hard for me to get rid of it but this is what this one looks like on the inside and then I got Outlaw Golf Nine Holes of Xmas and Outlaw Golf Nine More Holes of Xmas. 
I also have another Outlaw Golf in here, but it's not with those two for some reason. Then I got the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, Game of the Year edition. Need to get the sticker off that one. Blitz the League, which is still sealed, never opened it. Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Dead to Rights. Dakar 2, The World's Ultimate Rally. Starsky and Hutch. Rally Fusion. Flat Out. Heroes of the Pacific. Fable, which is supposed to have the limited edition bonus DVD inside, and it, it does. I didn't think it did, but it does. <laughs> I never pay attention to the DVDs because I never watch them really. I play the game, I never really watch the DVDs. Then I got Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Beyond Good and Evil. Defender. Area 51. Mad Dash Racing. Really interesting game. Here's the Outlaw Golf. It's another one of those combo ones. It has Outlaw Golf and Sea Blade in it. And I don't think this one has both manuals now. It has both games in there, but it only has the Outlaw Golf manual. And I actually had to... The original Outlaw Golf that came with that did not work. I had to replace it with one that I found at like a flea market, which no longer exists. So that sucks. But anyway, I got grabbed by the Ghoulies. Soul Calibur 1. Lemony Stickets, A Series of Unfortunate Events. Sneakers, Small Heroes, Big Adventure, which is a um, Toys R Us exclusive. Then I got Showdown Legends of Wrestling. They're about to all collapse on me. Then I got these two, which is basically the same thing, but not really. I've got, okay, it, it is minus two games. I got Midway Arcade Treasures 1, and then I got Midway Arcade Treasures. They both say they include over 20 arcade games. You'd think they'd be the same thing, but like just different box art. They basically are. It's just one of them has two more games. This one has Gauntlet and Road Blasters on it, and this one doesn't. And then this one, I thought this one said something about having some other bonus content that this one doesn't doesn't have on it. Or maybe it's this one. No, this one has... This one is actually the one that I need to keep because it has more. So this one I probably will be getting rid of because this one has DVD content, which, like I said, I don't watch the DVDs. But still, if it has more on it and it's got two more games, I'm obviously going to keep this one over this one. And I like the box art on this one better. Um, or the insert better, not necessarily box art. This says it has, like, Dame Histories, Developer Interviews, and Top Secret Documents, which I'll never watch, but just because it's there... I will be keeping this one over the other one, plus it's in, yeah, it's in better condition, so that'll be the one that I keep, but still, it's basically the same game. Then I got Big Mother Truckers, it came with a lot, don't ask. Then I got MX vs. ATV Unleashed. This is another one of those combo ones, NCAA Football 2005 and Top Spin, which I think, yeah. There's the game, and then both manuals are in here for for it, and there's Top Spin one. That one's not very good combo, but still. Um, Blinks, the Time Sweeper. I want the second one of this. And Whacked, which is a really wacky game show game. And I got NFL Blitz 2003. The Bible game. Driver 3, and then this one has like a really bad insert, like really bad, it's really bad water damaged and it's dirty, but it's Sega GT 2002, which works when it wants to work, and then doesn't work when it doesn't want to work, and uh, Jet Set Radio Future, it's one of those combo ones as well, but it doesn't have the manuals, it's just the disc, but for some reason when you try to play the uh, Jet Set Radio Future, it plays fine, but if you try to play Sega GT 2002, it sometimes one skips and then sometimes it's fine. I don't understand it. It has a mind of its own, but yeah, I have that one as well. 
All right, then I have Spider-Man 2, which I did have Spider-Man for Xbox for Xbox as well, but I got rid of it because I have it on PS2. And then I have Atari Anthology and Rally Sport 2 Challenge. Mark Echoes Getting Up. All-Star Baseball 2004 with Derek Jeter on it. Red Dead Revolver. This one, yeah. I really want to get the manual for this one. I don't know why, but it's bugging me. And then I got NBA Street Volume 2, the uh, demo disc. It has that. It has Gladius, Inside Pitch 2003, Jurassic Park, Operation uh, Genesis, and then it has BC and Soul Calibur 2, and plus top 10 plays. And it's got some more on the back, but this is just a demo disc I got for free. It also features things from Amp 2, Brute Force, Dungeon Dragon Heroes, Finding Nemo, Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, uh, Mace Griffin, Bounty Hunter, and Outlaw Volleyball. But yeah, I got this for free when I got a bunch of games at Tech Exchange in Roanoke. They were just giving away some free games that nobody wanted, and that was a demo disc, and I'm like, okay, I'll take it. It's free. Um, I'm not one of those people that collect demo discs. Then I got Reckless, the uh, Yakasu missions. Can't say that right, but yeah, got that. Then I got Forza Motorsport. This one needs a case and the insert, but it's a uh, Serious Sam 2. Then I got the developer's cut of Burnout 2, Point of Impact. I also have this for another system. I need to get rid of it because this is the developer's cut. And then I got Midnight Club 2, which I swear I have the first one, but I don't know where it is or what I did with it or if I accidentally got rid of it because I thought I had two. I don't know what to do with it, but I did have the first one. But yeah, that's the last game that I have for my Xbox, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not sure which is my next system I'm going to be doing. It'll probably be Xbox 360 just to kind of keep in line with Xbox and then I'll finish off. I should have done Wii, but right now like my Wii collection is just everywhere and I need to organize it. So, I decided to do Xbox instead. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, give me any recommendations for games in the comments section below. I always love to expand my collection, so anything you guys tell me, I always look into. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope everybody has a great day.